and welcome everybody here on twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some river shaper fiora it's going to be our first deck today we got our wednesday night stream uh we got a bunch of ionia decks today and so it looks like we're going to be uh, trying to bring ionia back with four different ionia decks this first one is kind of more demacia um but you know it's going to be uh the main main uh part of our deck is going to be fiora river shaper shen to protect them Going to be doing a lot of challenging with Shen giving our challengers barrier, Young Witch giving our challengers quick attack. This is our new War Chefs in this style of deck. And of course, Bright Steel Protector giving our challengers barrier as well. Um, so a, a deck that I'm very familiar with, a deck that I've played a bunch. And it's going to be our first donation deck to kick off the day. Um, all donation decks today, all Ionia um, Hopefully all win. So let's go play our five games over in ranked and we'll see how we do. All right, so looks like we got a very big deck. Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Goes about as big as you can. Um, we need some more thing. We need some more curve out cards. Maybe I mulligan Shen looking for some more curve out cards, I guess, but I love Shen. Don't want to get rid of single combat. Alright, so River Shaper. It's going to be up to you. Hand's not the best. Off we go. Against Avalanche. At all. Yeah, we're, we're very weak to Avalanche. Water changes, but never breaks. Alright, so this is a tough decision. Make them waste their mana, make them waste their ramp turn, or let them play a ramp spell, but then I, you know, I get to draw a spell. Yeah, so we could get a free spell or no. So our spells, Rangers Resolve would kind of help. Single combat, deny. Oh gosh, deny is so good. Alright, there we go. Free spell. What form will the waters take? I was hoping for deny. These are trolls. Yeah, I could definitely see that being a mistake where you know they wouldn't have been able to play Trundle if I didn't do that. My shield is yours. <gasps> Carrots can fly, Rip. Okay, okay. Oh. My plan was to lead with Bright Steel Protector on the River Shaper. You're covered. Nature blesses her followers. Okay. Um, you're gonna attack you're right first. Your you're going to support Protect you. You're going to support you. You're going Steady to attack also. Hand. You got a problem? So we did not get Deny, which is what I really wanted. Got all of our Celestial Combats. Did I just say Celestial Combats? I think I did. Got all of our Single Combats. Repost could be good. All right, so finally, so it is Icequake. Let's see. That's my only way to keep River Shaper alive, or keep one thing alive and kill Trundle. Because if I repost the Caretaker and then have the Caretaker fight, then um, if I do that, then we just won't have anything because the, the fight will take out the barrier. So let's say I play Genevieve and they play the 08. I challenge the 08 first and then they get to play something else. And then I have to challenge the 08 and then they get to block with the other thing. 
Maybe it's best just to attack with the River Shaper. And we get to draw a spell, but then where are we going from there? Then they're going to be able to play a bunch of things out. Engulf them. This is tough. A gift from the river folk. Yeah, Concerted Strike would have been good, but Deny, you know, like, yeah, those those are our best spells. Haven't found those. Repost isn't bad, though. I, I don't mind Repost. Problem is I cannot play River Shaper and have Repost single combat available. Ancient things trapped in the ice. We swim within the flows of magic. Yuck. So we're looking at... I wonder if I just didn't attack on that turn three. What this would have been like. It's got to be over now. This game has to be over, right? I long for a worthy opponent. Your favorite star. I created it. Admire me. I think I repost. I could also save repost. Your move. No, I'm gonna repost. It's not a bad card to have. Obviously, I wish I would have just let damage through. But no, they just. They had a very good hand. They had everything that you can want with that deck. Us, not so much. We had a very slow curve. Yeah. Sure. We lost not going to be winning that. We already know what it's going to be. It's going to just be um, how much mana does the next Tosh cost. That's going to be changed. I'm not sure about Two Spirits Refuge. It's definitely my least favorite card in the deck. I think it, it's good against Noxus, but that's the only place where it's good against, like Noxus Bilgewater. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we're keeping all this stuff. Um, uh, we don't know exactly how it's going to change cost-wise, but it's going. But the ch the cost is going to change for the copies, so we would ex so the expectation is like the copies cost four. Um, could be copies just increase. That is an option. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. So six damage for them to waste their turn. Seven damage. Sorry. Seven damage. For a worthy we attacked last time and it really cost us. I'm going to not attack this time, not let them have that Fiora. We'll see if this works. Your move. Okay. The fate of more. Like how we had this this one mana Rangers resolve as well. Strike quickly, strike deftly. No, it's got to be worth one damage. It's a challenge with Fiora. There we go, GG's. I, I do think that making them waste that three mana was key. They didn't get to play Fiora on turn three, so whenever they played Fiora on turn four and then Repose, that was all of their mana. They didn't have an extra three. I 
Okay, over to us. What are we playing against? Twisted Gangplank. Um, Genevieve Helmhart may be something that I should just be keeping. I'm gonna just keep Genevieve Elmhart. Genevieve Elmhart's just amazing. Okay, yeah, I've never heard of that brand before. So I don't know. I maybe should just mulligan Young Witch. Young Witch is maybe our worst card against Bilgewater Noxus. They can do little amounts of damage, super easy, especially a Twisted Fate version um, with having uh, Twisted Fate red card and uh, make it rain and those kind of spells. Drawing a second Young Witch is really, really bad. This is something that this is this is where this is a huge downgrade from War Chefs. Like War Chefs being a two three would, would just be a much better card for us to see. I don't want to play another Young Witch and just have them kill it for free. I'll, I'd rather just save save a spell mana. Ranger's Resolve is a, is a very, very good draw. Not as good against, like, Powder Keg, but just very good draw overall. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. I kind of feel like I should have just mulliganed everything in my hand, besides Shen. I can keep Young Witch alive by using two spells to just keep a Young Witch alive, which that's... Sounds kind of ridiculous to do. Who says I don't share? Just a 1-1 one, one that's not very good. Yeah, I I didn't real I kinda just kept the Young Witch as the two drop and didn't really think about it until afterwards. We were talking about like the tie brand. Great hand though. Great hand. Um Let him bleed out. Double pack for the next kill! The dead don't need riches. Looks like trouble. There is no dispute. Okay. Um... All right, now we gotta take out this powder keg. So we can just keep our things alive. No! Quick death was too it's a really good hand though. One drop, make it rain with the two mana. Powder, you know, Petty Officer, Twisted Fake, Gangplank. It's what you With want. Me. It's what you want. All right, let's see how Genevieve Velmhart does. Heals my Shen and Swiftwing Lancer. These woods belong to us. Maybe. Oh, oh, there we go. All that glitters. It must be done. Perfect. Levels up the gangplank. I am reborn assaulted. Also gets rid of the shield. Two, if they do anything. Break their legs. There they go, finally. Off with you. Understood. Yeah. It's my only option is to to kill the gangplank with these, but uh, we're still dead. Right, like we're at best case scenarios. I'm at two against Bilgewater and Noxus. 
that's not a good case scenario. We have eight mana next turn. But no reason not to play Young Witch. Funny the hand life deals you, don't you think? It's a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. Two worlds, one balance. Safety will cost you. GG's. Hey, Cotterox. These teams were unbalanced. Hmm. Alright, so rough start for us. Uh, we play against Leona and Aurelian Soul. Let's keep repost. And just every time we see this this young witch in hand, I just wish it was Warshafts. Fortunately, Warshafts is never going to come back. At least, not until you know, not until maybe they change the card back. But I don't think they will. Greenglade Lookout's a little different. Water changes, but never breaks. Bask in her radiant blessing. Zoom! A gift from the river folk. All right, we got plenty of spells. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari Bask will unite the, the heavens! Okay. It's just Arachnoid Sentry. I want formation. All this champion is, is Arachnoid Sentry. Nature blesses her followers! I guess I should... I guess I should have maybe blocked this the first time, because... 8 mana really in soul is pretty annoying. Maybe I should just block that the first time. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the sunlight the will unite the heavens. All right, Rachnoid's entry comes down. Stuns the biggest thing. Doesn't make a very good attack now, so I'll go ahead and pass. Challenge Robin with a 5-4. I can't really challenge Robin with. Or I can't really challenge the 4-6 with a 5-4. Just playing that first in case they have another Leona. In case they have third Leona. It stuns one of these. So then I know to barrier the other. If I start with the barrier, then they stun. Yeah, then I'm kind of locked in at that point. I guess not. My shield is yours. I should steal a card. Ours is the one true light. That's quite annoying. Nothing being a 3 3 for my River Shaper. No, I don't attack with River Shaper. No mercy for heretics. And then, of course, for that thing, too. So, still, we have a lot better board. We only have one last card. A little worried about Aurelian Soul coming down right now. If we're playing Stand United and not Spirit's Refuge, 
we were playing Stand United, I would have I would not have attacked with my five two there, because the stand you Stand United would would kill my opponent the next turn. I guess we lead with Genevieve. If I save Genevieve for next turn, and then basically I play nothing, or I play a Genevieve. I guess I think we play a Genevieve and save two mana. A big problem would be another hush. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Basically, I'm hoping no hush. If we can challenge that, then we can repost. I taste purple. Swim within the flows of magic. Protect and strike. Back hip. A gift from the river folk. So I think they didn't block with the 4-2 to keep my board filled, I think. Hello, good terror. Let's rock. So obviously I'm killing the Tasty Fae folk. And I guess I I guess I don't really want them to gain four life or not. Like that's that's basically the question. I'm gonna fight with like the river shaper on it. And then do we want them to gain four life or not? My shield is yours. I want to keep my spirits refuge. Take. Bye. To the star. So that's still 19, right? Why am I blocking? I'm block. I'm not going to atrocity. Alright, going for lethal. My and we got one barrier. To save us. Spirit's Refuge, why can't you be reposed? Ooh, Deny Draw could be strong. Still have deny backup. Makes their attack here kind of rough. They don't get to gain any life with the 4-2. They'll most likely be able to level up Aurelian Soul, but then we're gonna be going right to combat and hoping we can get one point of damage across. So in case of like Will of Ionia, I do have deny. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Must give you more fangs. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of debris. All right, well, we can't get one point of damage across. I'm the forger of stars. My, how they stare. I walk this space between. 
between world. Come on. Be quiet. Hush is a fun card. Hush is a fun card. These teams were unbalanced. But sorry, Kaba, it's a little too late. All right, let's give this a try. I do not think Spirits Refuge would have won me that Bilge Water game. No, my opponent had an amazing hand, and they still had a bunch going on. They still had a another, a second leveled up Gangplank. I don't think there was any way we were winning that game. That hand was perfect. Uh, but yeah, maybe it, maybe one three War Chefs is still better than. Maybe that is still better than Young Witch. Neither are very good. Should we just be... Maybe we just shouldn't even be playing... Maybe we should just be playing, like, the 2-1 the Challenger. Is that an option? You know, Valor? The, the spell that brings along Valor? I don't know. It's not like this deck was dominant to begin with. And nerfing Warchefs. Warchefs was just the most... Like, it was so important. Besides the champions, it was the most important card. Not too worried about whatever card they can play here. Post-combat. Yeah, like that. Like, that's, that's worth the attack. So I do kind of want to just play Concerted Strike. I long for a worthy opponent. Let's just do that. Should be Fiora killing it. There we go, good. Clicked on the, the Caretaker to do the damage first, and then Fiora. I am one with the land. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. I find them unworthy. I never hold back. Try me. Nature blesses her followers. All right, this this happens. This is down to eight. Sure. Just keeping a 1-1 one, one alive, not that important. That's a great card. That's gonna kill them next turn. So I can counter that with a 6 mana card? I guess that's not worth it. No, I guess that's not worth it. We still have another Green Glade Caretaker. If we didn't have another Green Glade Caretaker, I would consider it. Who would trespass here? So I go. Oh God. Two out of four. Okay. The king could go where they are needed. Nature blesses. And there we go. Stand United kills them. Stand United is awesome. Nature blesses her followers. 
I did say as soon as we drew the other Shen to be a Stand United that that Stand United was going to kill them the next round. I have no Eastwood. Alright, GG. with honor. Alright, so we are two and three with a River Shaper Fiora. We were pretty close to winning that third loss, the fourth game. Um, but then our second loss, our opponent just had an amazing hand. Young Witch, I don't know, it's just it's really hard for a one-one to be worth it. Um, maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe War Chefs would be better as a 1-3. I don't know. That's, that's a pretty rough spot. That's, as I've said, like, this deck wasn't absolutely amazing before, but without, without War Chefs, it's pretty rough. None of these other two mana cards or anything that are that special. You really need it for that two drop slot besides Bright Steel Protector. Could maybe play, um, the Champion spell for putting Valor into play, Blinding Assault, if you just want another challenger, maybe that's an option. The other option is just not playing another two drop, is just is just simply not playing that and, and playing some other spells or something. Um, you know, like Sonic Wave or, or whatever. Um, you know, maybe getting a couple more threes in with like some protégés or, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll have to try this out with, with uh, the one three War Chefs, because Vanguard Defender, Vanguard Lookout, these aren't playable. It's not like, so like they said that, they said in the nerf that they wanted to nerf, they nerfed War Chefs to so, so they could see more Demacia 2 mana cards being played, but it's not like we're going to play Vanguard Defender or Vanguard Lookout because War Chefs isn't good. That's not really how the, the, that's not really how the metagame works. It's not like, all right, you have, like, you need like the power level for all your decks needs to be here. And like your War Chefs has your, your power level here. So it's, it's playable. It's good. All right, we're going to nerf War Chef, so it's down. So now these other cards, like Vanguard Redeemer and Vanguard Lookout, that are way down here, we're not going to just play them, because they're not good enough to match up to the rest of the metagame anyway. They weren't before, they're not now. Just because you pulled War Chefs down doesn't mean that these other cards down here are good enough to reach the rest of the metagame. It's not like the whole metagame was pulled down, it was just War Chefs. Um, if there are other options that were good, you know, maybe that would create diversity, but... Instead of doing that, I think they should have just had your, you know, your metagames here, keep War Chefs here, and then just take, like, if you want diversity in your two-mana slot, take these other cards that are not playable, like Vanguard Lookout and Vanguard Defender. These things aren't playable. If you want them if you want them to be playable, you have to bump them up, not tear down War Chefs. That's, that's, my, um, that's my, my thinking on that. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you have to, you have to put cards that are, you know, they have to be playable in the rest of the metagame and not just comparably to the other two drops in Demacia. Because once you move down War Chefs, then you're like, okay, yeah, these are all kind of similar, similar-ish. But that doesn't mean that any of them are going to be played. It's the same thing with Shadow Assassin. When, once you moved Shadow Assassin down to a 1-2, it wasn't just like, okay, well now, instead of Shadow Assassin being a lot of places, now we'll see other Ionia 3 drops. It's like, no, people just don't play Ionia very much without that Shadow Assassin. All right, but anyway, um, that's River Shaper Fiora. We'll have to keep working on that two mana slot, and maybe maybe it's just not worth playing another two drop. Maybe you just have to like start on turn three with Fiora and River Shaper, and then spell mana more often. So maybe you need like Twin Disciplines, like other spells that you can spend early on in the game with spell mana if we don't have War Chefs, like protection spells for the first couple of turns. Maybe that's better than Young Witch. That's honestly possible. Maybe just like Twin Disciplines. Um, and then these other one mana spells, like your Ranger's Resolve, Radiant Strike, that kind of stuff. Maybe even Chain Vest. Maybe like that kind of stuff would be better to help protect your important cards. So, you, know, you know, like your important cards, of course, are like River Shaper, Fiora, Shen, um, and then, of course, Lancer, Genevieve. You want to you, you be able to protect those things, even these one drops. That's what War Chefs help do. It would affect the board and trade with something the opponent was playing, but then also help protect these. All right, uh, that's it here for River Shepherd Fiora. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.